Oh no, please. Oh, pathetic. Oh, no. Christmas 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 Christmas
a car that I remember from last year when I was here for the December meet is this festive Fiat 500 wearing its Santa Claus hat. So Santa Claus right opposite the festive Fiat. And here is the green Audi R8 GT that we saw pull in next to the Huracan and the Supra. One thing I've recently learned about these Supras is these vents don't vent. I was half expecting to see a can of Relentless on its roof. Someone's revving a supercharged Civic 5. Looks like the car's complaining about being revved. <laughs> He set some alarms off. But I was focused on the Crown Vic. I've never been in the back of a police car, probably for the better. I mean, is it open? I mean, this is a reverse arrest. Let's see what it's like. It's quite cramps, actually. I have the right to remain silent. So this is what it's like to be arrested in the States. You have a window, and in the front there, you've got all of the light controls. So you've got bars, so you can't escape through the glass, although you might be able to through the back if you had some kind of special powers. And I presume this is slid shut to keep the crims quiet. I actually hope there's no child look on this. Good, good, good. There you go, that's what it looks like from the outside when Adam C gets arrested. Has it got sirens as well? Yeah. was louder than the Focus. Whilst down the end we have the sizeable hat on the small 500, on the small MX-5 we have not quite a sizeable hat, but it kind of suits the car. But it seems too cold for most people. Cars are starting to leave. My phone keeps dying because of the coldness as well. More departures include the Nismo GTR followed by the E60 M5. Sheriff car is departing as well. <laughs> GTR, see if we can hear the M5 as it accelerates up the road. A little bit. Oh, Sheriff, he's after him. Oh no, he's pulling over the E60. And the wrapping paper is... <laughs> oh, it's so cold. But I too am going to leave the show and head off to one of the most exciting and unique events of the year, the Santa Run. So I'm going to go meet Chloe, hop in her new car, and then meet you in Reading. So welcome to the back seat of the fridge, Chloe's IQ. We're in traffic for the toy run, following some of the bikers that are doing the toy run. And we're going to watch the toy run. Don't follow the bike. Tricycle. Hey. Old neons. <laughs> So we're walking into the start of the Reading Toy Run. The marshals are getting ready to close the local roads so that hundreds of Santas can uh, ride their bikes. There's probably about 100 marshals as it is. So this car park is where all the three wheels motor bicycles are held, including the speedboats we saw last year. From memory, I think this was a Reliant Regal with a speedboat body instead of a car. And here is the main section. There's a Christmas tree, full size, on the back of a bike. It doesn't look the safest thing to ride. This actually has potential to be a Guinness World Record for the largest game of dominoes ever played. We need to get our move on and find a spot because they're all starting up getting ready to go. Permission to go car spotting, M3, Focus RS. So they are now closing the roundabouts and the blood guys are waving. They've decided to put a chair in the road. These poor cars are having to turn around and drive up the wrong side of the road because of the closed road. And everyone who's there who wants to come around here is going up there doing a Yui and then coming back this way. Always spotting. We have a Ferrari 48 Spider getting annoyed that he can't come this way. And the police. Oh yeah, he's pointing. Yeah, he's pointing. He's like, I want to come. He's actually quite angry. Look, I want to go that way. He's he's annoyed. He's a Ferrari. He thinks he'll get through. <laughs> go up there, do a Yui, and come back round. But I just want to go this way. He's going to do a smoky burnout in in retaliation. No. Oh, here's the police. But now they're telling people off further down for doing the U-turns because they're not allowed to. Ooh. You see, revolutions in disgust of the rules. I think this stage is the first item to come. Yes, you've got a horn. Oh, that's a cute little tree. <laughs> This is it, the start of the run. The speedboat will be first. There's one of Rudolph and another Rudolph. And this is the Reliant Regal with a pathetic horn. We're going to get different types of horns, the audible horns and then the horns on the head of the reindeer. There we go, tinsel, two Christmas trees, candy canes. I hear noises. Well, someone's tinsel's falling off. 
We got the Messerschmitts. Look at him in the Messerschmitts. That is Santa Claus driving a Messerschmitt. Has he got a passenger? No, he's on his own. He's on his own. Oh, no, there is a passenger in the Messerschmitts. A lot of these tricycles have Volkswagen Beetle engines, so they're kind of car related. Is that like an old Morgan Free Wheeler or something similar? That's a car. That's the most car like bike we've had here so far. The idea is they're delivering presents to children in need. The other location is like 10 miles away and all these roads are closed. Maybe not quite 10 miles, but a long way. It's the season. Weird Christmas traditions are happening. Oh, it's Iron Man. A Christmas Iron Man. Thank you. Oh, wow. He's got a whole Christmas tree table on his bike. We have festive minion and a festive giraffe. Nothing says Christmas like giraffes. Festive purple man. Oh, look at the dog. The dog's along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a festive Superman. Merry Christmas. Vespa's going for the overtake. Wow. If this was a car event, there'd be donuts and burnouts and revolutions and hooligans. But they're kind of more sensible on bikes in their onesies. The winter onesie. He's got neons on himself. Festive purple figure. Now we have a lineup of quad bikes. That one has been slammed. A slammed quad bike. There's a snowman wearing a lit up top hat. The whole snowman has been lit up as well as the bike. There's another festive minion. It's a, um, what's his name? Potato head. Potato head. There's a chipmunk, I think. I love how the Ferrari hasn't got far at all. He's still just up there and it's been like, 10 minutes. <laughs> He's he wants to turn that way so we can come this way and he can't at all. One of the Christmas trees is coming. It's probably only a four foot tree but it looks a lot taller because it's on the back of the bike. It's quite tall. There's a, a festive dog. In the air. Something else has fallen off of the road. I think it's a Christmas cracker. Yeah, traffic's all the way up to the roundabout. Even more traditional Christmas minions on their bikes. That's an interesting vehicle. Here comes Santa with his robe blowing in the wind. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas, Mike and Sully. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's going to have to work out how to stop them. So he put his lights on. He's gonna have a tough job overtaking everyone. Ferrari is still there. Oh, the ambulance is going in. Maybe the dominoes effect did happen. I think they've briefly stopped the bike so the ambulance can go inside. Does that mean they're gonna let the Ferrari go? He's running like it's an emergency. Run away from the Skoda! <laughs> Attack of the Skoda. Keep it close, Jeff! Keep it close! Well, that was a momentary lapse. Now we're back to bikes. I like that one. Do you reckon his wife told him off for stealing it from the living room? Mr. Ferrari man is almost 20 minutes late for his appointment. Nice beers. He could have dressed up as Santa. This guy's been doing wheelies and now he's delivering sweets. Littering. Lock him up. Yeah, it's Christmas turkeys. It's the Grinch. What on earth is this coming this way? It's a turkey. This is what some mothers around the country are going to be following that, trying to slaughter it for their family. The largest turkey in the country. There's a Christmas Yoda. They even the ambulance crew are waving. Is that it? Do we, we let the Ferrari go now? I'm expecting a smoky burnout sliding around the corner. We can examine the faces of the annoyed drivers who've been sat waiting for 20 minutes. Oh, here comes the Ferrari. He's definitely very late for his meeting now. I want to see launch control, little slide maybe, 0 to 60. They've bought themselves a bench. Well done. Oh, he's sedate and slow. He's had enough time to think about life, the meaning of it, and the number 42. But from a very cold and Christmassy day, that was pretty much that. Starting off at the Haynes Motor Museum and then on to the Reading Toy Run. Chloe wants me to say Merry Christmas to you all. I think that's what you were mouthing. So go follow me on Instagram for the updates, highlights, and pictures that I take at these meets. And hit that bell when you subscribe to be notified for the 2023 batch of videos. But for now, thanks for watching. Or, or Merry Christmas, yes.